Hi guys, welcome in. Today we're going to be going through how to build a druid. Uh, we usually play D&D, but today we're going to try and help you guys build your own characters. I'm Jason. I'm George. And I'm Austin. And this is Velvet Games. Well, thanks for joining us. Hope you guys like the stuff on the channel. I really hope you guys like these kind of videos. If you do, like this video and subscribe to the channel. Every subscriber counts and we really appreciate the views, guys. Um, well, let's get into it. We're going to break it down into a little five, a little four subjects of subclass, um, different feats and spells that you can do to improve the character, um, magical items, and uh, skill or attribute points, however you want to <clears throat> associate it. So I'm going to start with the subclass. And for me, I'm going to go with Circle of Land. I love setting traps for people to walk through and just die. Um, I'm a very <laughs> calculated D&D player. Even though on the outside just looks like I'm trying to burn the whole world down. <laughs> um, but aren't you? I am, but um, in my own way. Now with the Druid of Land, you get the bonus cantrip, so it's really dope. And it basically turns you kind of into a more of a full caster than most. Um, and then you have Natural Recovery, so it helps you out a lot for that. And then you can choose biomes when you get to the circle level. Um, I usually go with Arctic or um, Desert. Depends on what I'm kind of doing. But Arctic is really e really good because hold person and spike growth. And now spike growth is great because you make up this terrain. And we'll put the spell somewhere on the screen so you can read it for yourself. But you make up the terrain and people walking through it take damage. So you just plan accordingly. You hide yourself. You make a character that's pretty camouflaged. Which is not too hard to do, especially if you're doing like a gnome or stuff like that, where you could be like, I can blend into the rocks kind of thing. <laughs> and then you just sit there, you make spike growth, they walk through it, and they slowly take damage. And then you make the damage, it make it even harder. There's another spell um, called Hold Person, so you can make them sit inside the spike growth and take damage. <laughs> um, you can also cast Suffer. Sleet Storm at fifth level, oh my so they're just sitting there taking the damage. Oh, you think that's bad? At 7th level, you cast Ice Storm. <laughs> so they're just sitting there taking the damage. Welcome to being a druid. Oh um, and then as you progress through, of course, you can you could do a lot more with druid stuff. You can uh, transform and all that uh, as you progress. Um, you also get Land Stride with Circle of Land and Nature's Ward. So it really helps against most of the, like, most of the problems you'll deal with. Um, and then na Nature's Sanctuary. You have near immunity to two types of creatures. So basically, do you like playing a ranger? Do you like playing a druid? Circle of land is for you. <laughs> um, now we'll get into feats and so on and so forth. So mobile, super easy. I also like the feat of uh, Warcaster, I believe, where you could cast spells oh, while you're attacking. And now druids don't typically use um, metal anything, but... If you make like bows and arrows and stuff like that, you could cast spells while you're using your bow, stuff like that. Um, it's meh at the most. Cloak of Displacement, of course. I mean, if this channel had a mascot for magic items, it'd be Cloak of Displacement, guys. Always try and get a Cloak of Displacement. It's super easy. Um, there's a ton of magic items that you can use for Druid, to be honest. Um, yes. One that's funny to me is Wand of Polymorph. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I could transform, but now so can you, and you do that. Um, you have two owl bears. Two owl bears, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Scary. Actually, I've done a campaign. This is a little off subject, but I've done a campaign where I had I was a druid, and I had two other people. That was a paladin and a rogue, and the rogue had like super stealth. And I was like, okay, whatever. And then as the paladin, I was like, okay, I have a wand of polymorph. I'm gonna turn him into a snake. And we both turned into snakes and snuck through the the whole encampment. Nice. And then we popped up into the king's uh, throne room. And he's like, how did you get in here? And I was like, you have a snake infestation. <laughs> and killed him. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Uh, dope moments like that. Mm -hmm. um, so that's magical items. And now getting into um, your skills, guys. It's pretty simple with, with uh, druids. I would just... Basically, <laughs> dump it into charisma and or sorry, wisdom, wisdom. wisdom sorry, yes. I'm still stuck on how to build a paladin. You should go check out that video too. <laughs> um, no wisdom, just straight 
make your make your I mean do sub uh, your uh, what are those things called your archetype or whatever background that that's the word um, the background be a sage um, and then get some more of your other wis- uh, wisdom app attributes that you could use and skills and yeah wisdom dump everything into wisdom and dex that's my two top two wisdom dex and just that's it but that's how I make a druid how are you Austin um when I make a druid I like to be a uh, circle of the moon um, and that's a very interesting uh, circle. Uh, so one of the things it has is you can combat wild shape, which makes your wild shape when you transform into an animal. Uh, it's a bonus action. So you can move, transform, attack all in the same move. And that's kind of scary to be like walking, turn into an, a bear, attack. And then it's like hmm. all in the same move. That's, whoa, okay. Um, and then... Another thing you also get is uh, elemental wild shape. So you can turn into any elemental all um, pretty much all the way up to 18, um, which then you can change into other animals and get way bigger. But being an elemental at level two or three, um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, that's kind of, yeah, broken. Um, and then also you have this thing called primal strike, which allows you to attack um, creatures that are resistant to non-magical attacks, uh, which does can do a lot of damage, especially at, l- at lower levels. Um, being able to turn into a wolf and attack, and then also get pack tactics and all these other things as well. So uh, it's quite crazy uh, to think about that. The thing that I like to do when I'm a druid sometimes is get the belt of giant strength, and uh, <laughs> and the thing is that it's very interesting because yes. uh, it stays with you when you transform. So imagine being a mouse with the strength of 21. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so very unsexpecting, uh, <laughs> not expecting to be uh, doing stuff like that. Even just it's fun being a druid. I know there's a campaign I did with George, and I was in a tree, and I jumped out and turned into an octopus and killed one. Someone <laughs> is landing on top. <laughs> landing on top. Yes, <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> just crazy things you can do. It's very creative. Um, <laughs> but one of the things is uh, I put a lo- obviously you put a lot of your points into uh, wisdom, and the next is hit or miss because you have the health of whatever animal you turn into. So constitution is mm-hmm. not necessarily really important. But I would probably go with dex. Probably just be able to have good movement um, and attack quicker, change quicker, whatever you want to do. Um, and then feats, um, you can be elemental adept. That might help a lot, uh, especially with the moon, um, yeah. being able to change into a fire elemental or water elemental, whatever it is. So you just get more attack. Um, and then what was the other one? That uh, There's another. Uh, so you can also get beast spells as well. So while in beast, while you're some type of beast, you can uh, cast spells as as like a bird to yep. people who are not sus- suspecting anything at all. So I just it could be more sneaky uh, with your attacks. Mm. Druids are great for bank robberies because um, <laughs> <laughs> they can turn into things that people don't suspect. Um, and obviously, you can have cloak of displacement stuff like that. Those are always helpful to have. But really, uh, one of my favorite things to do as a druid is to multi-class into a barbarian and to be able to rage <laughs> while as an animal in reckless yes. attack on top of that. Um, <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> it's, it's fun. It's just wow. a lot of fun. Um, and some of the, like, uh, the spells that you get, um, so the cantrips are very versatile. Um, you can even um, start getting cantrips from other sub, uh, classes. Uh, you can get um, hex from... Uh, a warlock and that's uh when you can be an animal and hex someone and mm-hmm. then do more damage on top of that uh, it's just it, a lot of damage can be done uh by just building the druid correctly uh, but it's always entertaining to be a druid all the time yes so i would suggest that you take none of my advice <laughs> because oh. i have never played a druid before real quick did you say your so. attributes and your skills? <laughs> oh i said most of mine would be uh into wisdom mm. yeah and then it'll be my dex would be the other one and if you want to do constitution when you're not in wild shape form that's fine but i would probably stick with dex and wisdom because especially wisdom because that's literally all your spell casting is through your wisdom yeah all right but now all right can. Time to make the worst build I can possibly think of. <laughs> so I would go. <laughs> I would choose Circle of Wildfire because burn everything. 
Um, so the fun <laughs> part about this is that I also have healing spells. Mm-hmm. So, first of all, I already get to burn everything. I'll be the bane of all existence for all druids, burning down forests on purpose. Yes. <laughs> okay. Then, <laughs> be even more taboo. If I can get metal armor, even better. <laughs> uh-huh. Fair in mind. Then, druids having, don't touch metal. <laughs> exactly. That's what he makes even better. What is it? Uh, heat metal. <laughs> Do you have full plate armor too? <laughs> if I can, yes, I would. <laughs> so, <laughs> the fun part about being wildfire druid is just the amount of fire spells you have. Everything is so focused on fire stuff. The only problem with that is that there are so many creatures with fire resistance, so you'd have to find ways that are around that. The thing is that if I'm playing as a wildfire druid and I'm going to be playing it the most unorthodox way possible, more yeah. than likely I'm not going to be wild shaping a lot. Uh huh. So I'll be using my little elemental pet that I have with me mm-hmm. constantly. I would be going and using actual equipment <laughs> like a weirdo. Um, <laughs> yes, I'm going to use the worst stinking possible thing. Now, also, there are other th- abilities that you will achieve and obtain at higher levels that increase your fire capabilities with damage when you hit uh-huh. creatures and stuff with that. So, or even use it for healing. Having things like revivify is the most awkward thing when you choose between damage and healing. It's like that weird in between. So, feats, elemental adept, because. More fire. <laughs> um, <laughs> Doesn't elemental adept also like ignore the resistances, right? No, but no. there is another feat. I think it's elemental bane. Yeah. No, no, that's a spell yeah, it, that it. suppresses resistances. Mm. So I would use that for more fire. And um, yes, <laughs> just more and more fire. Um, getting feats that potentially allow me to have uh armor i don't know how that works with wild shape if you're allowed to (laughs) wild shape while wearing armor but if you can that would be awesome (laughs) (laughs) getting proficiencies in that stuff and then doing that would be hilarious um and then magic items I don't know if I would do Cloak of Displacement. If I can get a Cloak of the Arch Magi, I probably would. <laughs> oh my if God. I could, if I could get a legendary trolls. item, of course I yes. would get a legendary item. Of course. This guy. This guy. Uh, cloak of Displacement is a very good item, though. Then for, like, belts and stuff like that or whatnot, I would probably... Belt uh, of do, Giant Strength. Yep. <laughs> yes. Um, stats, though. I would put... Uh, most of my stats into wisdom f- due to my spellcasting nature <laughs> and then the secondary stat i would also put into i would actually yeah i'll put it into decks make myself just a tiny bit more tanky yeah um yeah so i'll worst build possible just so just to correct george elemental adept <laughs> does let you ignore resistance to damage of a chosen type Mm. So then he could choose fire. Yep. And then everything burn in is, the fire while everyone <laughs> Everything is now a, even if you're resistant, he ignores the resistance. So Beautiful. his fire spells would go through you anyways. And it basically makes all of those spells if you roll one or two, you can re-roll. So. It adds damage to it too, don't it? Doesn't it? Um when you roll damage to it of a of for a spell you cast that deals damage of that type, you could treat any one on um, a damage as a two. Okay. So, yeah. So, slightly increase in damage, yeah. but yes, <laughs> that would be perfect. Yeah. Um, I, Elemental Adept is another one I would probably take for my build and put it to ice. Um, just so you guys know, those druids or even rangers can do this. Um, if you ever want to set a perfect trap, you set the spell fog cloud, <laughs> then plant growth, then spike growth. They can't see where they're going. Their movement speed is quartered. No, eight at that point, I believe. Something Maybe. like that. Because fog cloud, I think, slows it down. I don't know. Anyways, um, 
So they're super slow. They have to walk through this like 30 foot or whatever the spell is radius. And basically you just set it up so you're on the other side of that radius with hmm. a longbow or whatever it is and you just done deal. Mm-hmm. So And then they can't see it, so they can't just walk around it. They don't know what the heck's going on, and they're just taking damage left and right. And then you just ice storm them, you know, whatever it may be, once they get inside that area and you're just like, ha, 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 I run this forest, whatever it may be. Um, and then I burn this forest. Right. Um, but yeah. That is uh, how we would build druids. If you guys like this Don't video. Don't listen to me, guys. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to build a, a fly, fire version of... Uh, if you want to build a druid version of Natsu... Uh, Natsu? Natsu? Yeah. yeah. That's that's yeah. how. That's exactly how. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. yeah. That's exactly Just what get tavern brawler so I can punch everything. Yeah. <laughs> fire me belly. Yeah, that's exactly, yes. exactly it. Um, oh hope you guys gosh. like this stuff. If you guys like content like this or you guys want to see us build a specific uh, build, then let us know. We're happy to do it. Thanks for watching. I'm going to play the middle ground. Um, all right. Same exercise. I'm going to say a word. You say what comes to your mind. Ready? These nuts. Awesome. Peanuts. <laughs> Food. It doesn't have to be like right after, but what comes? This is a word association. Peanuts. Little nuts. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and Cho- we're done. <laughs> chocolate and peanut butter. Reese's. Okay, good, good. We're getting there. Ice cream. Cone. Scoop. Okay. <laughs> Cup. Bowl. Cereal. Water. <laughs> Drown. Drink. All right. We're there. <laughs> hey there. Thanks for uh, coming in and watching the video for today. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy what we had uh, cooked up for you all today. And hey, if you like content like this, make sure you check out MyVelvetGames.com. Our Discord and our Patreon have stuff just for you. So, let us know. Um, hey, Jason, my controller isn't working. <laughs> No! Okay. Oh, free went.